Good evening, hyperspinners. Today we're going to be talking about how to customize your exit screen as well as your favorite screen in hyperspin. So get ready. Alright guys, so today we're going to be talking about how to customize this screen here. I'm going to push the favorites button here. So what we're going to be doing is talking about the screen in the background and then the little arcade icon or the arrow icon and the text that says view favorites as well as remove favorites. Uh, so that is going to be how we are going to go about this tutorial. And then we're also going to be talking about how to customize the exit screen. So I'm going to go ahead and push the back button a couple times here. And we're going to be just talking about how to edit that background screen and the arrows uh, in just a second. I'll show you. So there you go. I'm going to be talking about replacing that background as well as the arrow icon and uh, the text. So. Let's go ahead and get started here, guys. All right, so it's uh, as easy as just going to your Hyperspin root folder, media, front ends, and then images. So what you're gonna wanna do is, uh, whenever we're editing any of the original artwork, uh, you're gonna wanna make a backup. So what I did is I just put a, a number one in front of the name. Uh, you can delete it if you, uh, you know, it, Feel free to do so, um, but in terms of uh, modifying this, uh, you can see that the main uh, or the menu exit arrow. I've uh, basically created this little icon, and I've also done that for the uh, menu favorite arrow. So that's what you saw instead of the arrows there. Uh, also, the background, the menu favorites background. Uh, that is uh, what you were displaying uh, earlier within Hyperspin. You can see I've got the favorites uh, uh, logo on it already, uh, so you don't have to mess with anything there. And then the exit, uh, menu exit background is here. So it'll just display whatever you put in there, and uh, I will share the, uh, the media here on the uh, FTP uh, Dojo site. And, uh, you know, if you choose to, you can also edit the text by just editing, you know, what you see here. Uh, also the yes, no. Uh, so there's a lot of custom or customizability uh, within Hyperspin. Uh, obviously, it's the price you pay for, uh, you know, the flexibility, but uh, it's totally worth it. So I hope uh, this helps you guys, and uh, we'll catch you next time.